Hello, everyone. Welcome back to MIT 28. So let me share the screen first, then uh, we talk about uh, what topic we're looking at, okay? Uh, let's see. So the topic we've been at, okay. So this is uh, my screen. So you see that on my desk is um, the syllabus. Hold on, I just want to make sure that I'm recording everything. Uh, okay. So you see on my desk uh, is the syllabus, and you see that on Monday I only talk about uh, proportion percentage and uh, seven percentage problem. Uh, so today we will continue with uh, section 6.5. Uh, sequence five is the uh, application of uh, percentage concept. So you see that <coughs> on Monday we learn how to use uh, and we uh, we learn uh, we see the relation between a proportion and a percentage concept, and we learn what the percentage is. Okay. Uh, <coughs> We learn how to uh, solve a percentage problem. Okay. But percentage concept can be used to model many word application or problem. Uh, but before jumping to the first example, uh, let's go through um, the concept of uh, percent of increase and the percent of decrease. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and write out the topic uh, for today. So section uh, 6.5. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let me change this a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully you can see with this color. So section uh, 6.5 application. Application. Uh, percent okay uh the first thing the first moment uh, we talk about percent of increase what is percent of increase uh, well actually uh we try to find an, uh, the amount of increase the increase amount then we find a percent, of, like based on the original, okay? And we're gonna use the formula. The percent of increase formula is percent of increase that is equal to amount of increase over Original amount. Okay, so I'm going to box this formula. So I don't want you to memorize it. Actually, you don't have to memorize it. You just need to understand. Okay, you try to find a percent of increase, you have to find the amount of increase first. Okay, then you set it up over the original amount. Then you can get the percent. And because remember, in order to get a percent, you just need to multiply by 100, okay? And uh, I can jump to the first uh, example uh, so that you can understand what the percent of increase is, okay? Example. All right. So we're gonna deal with a word problem, okay? We try to understand the word problem. We, we try to translate uh, into uh, um, mathematical uh, meanings, okay? Uh, so that we can uh, set up equation. After we set up equation, then we can get the final answer, okay? The first example goes like this. The number of application, uh, the number of applications, I think we're uh, the number of application of is yeah it's not good right yeah black black color is better okay 
for a mathematics scholarship. Mathematics scholarship. Uh, at one university okay. the reason that uh, I'm writing this and I don't want to uh, uh, put the whole textbook under the dark hand because I want you guys to write with me but when you guys are writing the problem with me you guys remember the problem you guys remember how to ask the question Okay, so that's what I want you to do. Okay. It takes time, but it's very helpful. Increase. Increase from uh, 34 to 45 in one year. Okay. No, here it. What is the percent of increase okay and uh, actually they want you to write it to the nearest four percent if you don't have to okay so the question what is the percent of increase All right, so how are we going to do this solution okay so this is the word problem. You know, you, you do the word problem. You know, you have to read it, analyze it, translate it into mathematical term, uh, set up equation and so for uh, your final answer. Okay. The number of application of the mathematics scholarship at one university increased from 34 to 45. So first of all, uh, in order to find a percent of increase, we need to know the original amount, right? And you see that the number of applications jump from 34 to 45. So the original amount must be 34, right? Because it jumped from 34 to 45. The last amount, the last, um, the last number of uh, application is 45. So from 34 to 45, how many more applications? Okay, how many more applications from 34 to 45. It's very easy to, it's very easy to find, right? You just need to do a 45 minus a 34, which is give you how many? Um, 11, right? 11 application. Okay. So when you do subtraction, basically 11 application is the amount of increase. Is the number of the application increase? Okay, okay. Uh, so we already know the original amount. We know the amount of increase. Then we can find the percent of increase easily. So the percent of increase will be what? Will be equal to amount of increase, which is eleven over original amount, which is. 34, okay, 11 divided by 34. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys use a very basic calculator, not scientific calculator. Probably on the test, I will give you the very, very basic, very basic calculator. <clears throat> Actually, uh, in this course, you're not allowed to use calculator, but I mean, 11 divided by 34, I mean, it's, it, <laughs> to some of the students, it's, 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 you're gonna find it hard to do it. I mean, so uh, I think I'm gonna let it, this go because uh, uh, you can just go ahead and do division, you know, you just uh, set up the division and uh, 11 divided by 34. Actually, in this course, I'm, I'm not showing you know, how to do division. It's, it's not the main concept of this course at all. Okay, uh, it's, it's not the, the, the objective of this course, not at all. Uh, so uh, I think that I like to use a very basic, very basic calculator, you know, for, for the second test. So it, it depends on uh, the kind of question and it depends on 
uh, what test then uh, lets you guys use this very basic calculator. Okay. Uh, other than that, we still not allowed to use any test. All right. So 11 divided by 34. Okay. So your answer is uh, 132.35. But they ask you the percent of increase. So you have to multiply by 100. So you multiply by 100. So it will give you 32.35%. Okay, so it increased by 32.35%. Okay. For some of students, uh, they can set up, actually we can set up 11 over 35 times 100 right away, then you, you don't have to multiply by 100 anymore. So you can just go ahead over here and put uh, multiply uh, by 100% if you want to change it to percent. Okay. So over here, actually, the formula, you should multiply by 100%. Okay. But in the textbook, uh, it does not put 100% at all. But you have, because they ask you the percent of increase, you have to by percent. Okay. Simple. Multiply by 100. Okay. So that is the, the example uh, for the concept of percent of increase. How about the concept of percent of decrease? So on the second woman, I want to talk about uh, the percent of a decrease. Right? So it's kind of the same, you know, but instead of increase, we're going to have decrease. So uh, the percent of, uh, percent of decrease. Okay, will be equal to the amount of decrease, the amount of decrease uh, over uh, original amount. So the original amount always at the bottom, multiplied by 100. All right. Um, so it means what it means. We have to find the amount of decrease first. Then we just set uh, the ratio between the amount of decrease and the original amount. But when, then, you know, when you read the problem, you have to identify what the original amount is. Okay. Example. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, and give you the problem like this uh, as an example. Then you see um, in response to a decrease in cell. A company with fifteen hundred employees okay. reduce the number reduce the number of employees. to 1,230, okay, what is percent of decrease, okay. So you, you see that when you read the problem, you see that original uh, number, original amount must be 1,500, right? Originally, that company has 1,500 employees, but because of the, uh, the, the decrease in sale, maybe economy, the economy is not good, and uh, that's why they cannot uh, uh, sell too much. And that's why they have to reduce the number of employees, and they reduce it to uh, uh, 1,230 employees. Okay, so there's only uh, 1,230 employees left okay and it asks you the percent of uh, decrease so how many decrease for that is what you have 
to find the original is 1500 you already uh, identify that amount the amount of increase so amount amount of degree i'm sorry the amount of decrease must be uh, must be what must be uh, 1500 minus uh, 1230 okay so 1500 minus 1230 which is uh, 270 employees okay so 270 employees get laid off okay they got fired because of uh, they couldn't they couldn't uh, the company couldn't sell okay so after you got a amount of decrease already you know the original amount is 1500 then you can get a percent of decrease i'm sorry sometimes i use the, the wrong word because uh, uh, right now it's uh, almost 12 o'clock uh, a.m and uh, i couldn't uh, talk too loud with um, you know people sleeping so uh, i'm sorry uh, so sometimes i you know i mess up with my own voice so percent of the uh, decrease would be equal to amount of decrease right amount of decrease would be 270 over uh, over the original which is 1500 right and make sure you have to multiply by 100 percent because they're asking you four percent so 270 you see that 270 divided by 1500 believe me i'm not gonna let you waste too much time on that division so uh, i'm not gonna ask you to divide this manually please okay so I'll give you uh uh on 15 you multiply by a hundred percent which is you multiply by 100 which is 18 percent okay so the final answer should be 18 percent all right so you see the concept of percent of increase the percent of increase is it's very easy for you to understand uh actually the word problem is easy to understand easy for you to set up uh equation Okay, you just use the formula. Right. So on uh, example number three, example number three, uh, I just give you a typical example of a word problem uh, applying uh, applying a percentage concept. Okay, a percentage concept. Example number three. Okay, this is how it goes. From 2015 okay, to 2016, the number of licensed drivers okay, in USA increase by uh, 5.8% okay. here in uh, 2015 there were about 210 million Licensed driver licensed mess up with the vocabulary. Okay, licensed driver. Okay. On the road. Part A. Find the increase in licensed driver from 2015 to 2016. Find the increase in license driver from 2015 to 2016. B. Find the number of license driver. Uh, 
by the number of selection driver on the row in 2016. Got it. Answer. So how are we going to do this? So they say that from 2015 to 2016, the number of license driver increased by 5.8 percent. But in 2015, there were about 210 million. So you see that we start in 2015. That is how they get the data. Okay, that is the, the, the year they get the first data. And in 2015, they said that there's 210 million license driver already. So that is the reasonable. Okay, 210 million is the reasonable amount. They ask you to find the increase in license driver. They don't ask you to find a percent, okay? Because they already give you the percent of increase. The percent of increase is 5.8 percent. They already give you. They ask you to find the amount of increase, okay? They ask you to find the amount of increase, okay? <clears throat> so how will you do that? Okay. Uh, it increased by 5.8%. It increased by 5.8% based on the original. Okay. So in order to find how many license driver, you just need to find 5.8% of 210. So how are you going to do that? 5.8% of it mean multiplication. I already uh, mentioned that. I already told you in class, 5.8% of 210 million, which is 5.8 over 100, right? Multiplied by of mean multiplication 210. Okay. So you see that with that calculator, we still can get the answer. Just take too much time. So I'm gonna just let you use calculators. So 5.8 times 210 divided by 100, which is give you 12.18 uh, license driver which is about only 12, 12 more license driver. That's what it means, 12 more, okay? The, uh, the, the increase is only 12 license driver more, okay? So that part A, part B, find the number of license driver on the road in 2016. Okay. Uh, you see that uh, original, uh, we try, a re original amount is 210 million in 2015, and in, there are 1218 more. So I mean, uh, 1218 million more. I mean, the unit over here is million, okay? Million. Uh, so the number of license driver in 2016, the updated one, it must be what? It must be a 12.18 plus 210, right? It would be 222.18 uh, million. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for uh, saying that only 12 people. No. It's 12.18 million because the unit over here is million. I'm sorry. Okay, so, we, uh, so the answer for part B will be uh, 222.18 million. So on, in 2016, it's not 210 anymore, but 222. Uh, okay, 0.18 million. Okay, all right. So at about uh, 222 million and 18,000.
than 18,000 people. Okay. All right. So far, so good, right? Uh, let me see if we like, uh, if we just try on that. Uh, I just want to check one more time. So 218. 222 and 18, is that 18, uh, 222 would be 222 million people and, and yes, it should be 18, 18,000 people. Okay, 18,000. Let's be there. All right. All right. So, I mean, uh, on the test, you just need to buy you know, 222.18 uh, million. I mean, uh, you don't have to really uh, explain it's 222 million and you know, 18 more, and something like that. You, you don't have to, okay? Whatever uh, you put into calculator, you get an average speed of uh, final answer. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, so that is uh, example uh, number three. Uh, let's see, I can give you uh, another one. So there are many, many word applications using uh, percentage concept. Actually, uh, the percentage concept is very useful. You know, when the, uh, you see a percentage uh, very often, you know, every time you go shopping on Black Friday, right, and they say that. Uh, uh, 12 12 percent or 15 percent or something like that so that's why uh, when you understand uh, the percentage concept it's very easy for you to calculate uh, what does it mean by uh, 50 percent or 75 percent or something like that you can you can calculate it in your mind or you can use it uh, you can get the answer really quick okay um so example uh, number four Okay, I have something like it. <coughs> an inspector found twenty four defective bow during during an inspection okay. if this is 1.5% of the total number of both inspected okay. comma how many Ball were inspected. Okay, so look like that. This is not a uh, the problem of the percent of increase and the percent of increase. Uh, decrease. Okay, so we try to uh, set up equation of the word here. But before we can do that, we have to understand what they're asking. So they are 24 defective one. And they say that that 24 is about 1.5% of the total, of the total. And they ask you how many more were inspected originally. Uh, 24 represent 1.5 percent of the total if i call x <coughs> sorry uh, if i call x is the number of total okay well Then 1.5%, it means 1.5% mean over 100. 
mean multiplication of what of the total and we already named the total is i we name it x so 1.5 percent multiplied by x equal right equal what 1.5 percent uh represent 24 defective one so this is 1.5 percent of the total equal 24 okay <coughs> so we have a question uh, like that and now our job is to get the x, x value okay over here we can use proportion concept to solve for x value okay uh you can do like this uh, you can set this as over 1. So 1 1.5 times x is 1.5x. 100 times 1 is 100. <coughs> Equal 24. We can set it up 24 over 1. Okay. And now you see that this is the proportion. I can do cross multiply. So 1.5x. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, time 1. Equal 24 times 100. Uh, so 1.5x times 1 is 1.5x, okay, uh, equal 24 times 100 is 2400, then we can get x by divide both sides by 1.5, so you have 2400 divided by 1.5, so which is you, you 1600. Okay, 1600. Four. So 1600 is the number of four, is the original number of four. It's the total. Okay, that's what they ask you. They ask you how many four were inspected, original. <coughs> okay. <coughs> All right, so I think um, that's all for uh, section 6.5. Uh, you must be exposed to many uh, word problems like this. So in order to be good at uh, solving application of percentage, you have to do a lot of uh, practice, uh, do many problems, word problem. And, um, on homework, I believe that I give you about 20 problems on a six point five, or maybe at, uh, I think about 15. Uh, it may be not enough. Okay, so in order to be good at this, I recommend you guys um, uh, open the text and start working on the problem on the text. Okay, from the text. Or you can look it up, uh, similar problem like this on the internet. You just go ahead and, uh, and type uh, a percentage problem, percentage word problem, and uh, you can uh, do as many as you want to, okay, to prepare for our second test, okay? So our second test will be um, next week on uh, June 5th, okay? And uh, on Monday, on Monday, uh, May 31st is uh, Labor Day, so we don't have school. Actually, uh, I told you guys that uh, we're going uh, to have our uh, makeup uh, session on Wednesday, but uh, I just figured out that we have a test, a second test on June 5th. Uh, so I think that I'm gonna do the, the online video for you guys so that you guys can stay at home and prepare for a second test okay so on week number four uh, we don't have uh, any session we don't have any session okay um uh, okay so um i think that's all for today um 
that's all for today. And uh, if you have any uh, question, uh, please uh, let me know. If you don't understand any um, any example over here, please uh, send me a message through Canvas. And I'll be seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.